Welcome to the ITU studio here at the World's Telecommunication Development Conference, WTDC, in Kigali, Rwanda, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Andili Kva, who is the uh, founding partner and chairman of Convergence Partners. Andili, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for hosting me. Our pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, in your opinion, how do we connect the unconnected to achieve the digital future we seek? As you know, uh, you know I, I mean, I've been part of the Partner to Connect, responsible, one of the lead on the investment side. We have identified a gap of about $428 billion over the next 10 years to address that gap of 2.9 billion people, right? Now, that is a very important issue we have, all of us as society. Now, here, one of the critical decisions that we have seen from countries are pledges to say how they commit to close that gap. It's an important gap. I think COVID in the last two years proved to us that a life without digital, you know, imagine what we would have done if we would not have digital connectivity. So really here, I mean, for us as convergence partners, we have put in a pledge of $250 million, you know, connecting various uh, institutions in Sub-Sahara. We have been in investments as a private equity for the last 20 years, and this is another way for the next five years of investing the next round of $250 million. And we are working with, I mean, the IFC, I mean, of the World Bank. We have worked with USAID. We've worked with a number of DFIs in making sure that fiber in Africa on land, fiber in the ocean, data centers, are built. That's what we do on a day-to-day -day basis in addressing that gap. Remember, Africa will have 2 billion people in 15 years from time, and the majority of those people will be young people. So we have a responsibility as public sector, as private sector, as international institutions to make sure that globally we have digitized society. Now, you made a, a pledge here at the, the Partner to Connect session. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so we made a pledge of 250 million. Um, as I've said, we really are a, an investment firm. We have been operating in the continent for now 20 years. I mean, we, for instance, companies such as Sicom, Submarine Cable, which we built 10 years ago. We built a satellite with Intel. So we are continuing in that journey, but now more focusing in this new digital infrastructure, such as data centers, using clean energy, for instance, you know, last mile, putting fiber to connect the last mile. As these are very critical aspects that we have just talked about during our pledge. And really we are investing not our, on our own, we're looking for other partners that really want to work with us, basically, in addressing this gap, in particular in this beautiful continent of ours. Again, thanks to Rwanda for hosting this great event and the ITU and BDT really, I mean, for really putting us together. I mean, in the last nine months, being part of that partner to connect, you know, investment stream, various people in different parts of the world have looked at new models, such as how do we use blockchain, for instance, in how do we fractionalize the last mile? How do we tokenize the last mile? How do we, for instance, create new forms of investment such as DAOs? How do we create, for instance, what we call connectivity credits, learning from carbon credits and apply that in our industry? We've been hearing a lot from uh, all sorts of different uh, people here in the, in the Partners to Connect roundtables. I just wanted to ask you finally, uh, has anything uh, uh, struck you, any, any key takeaways from the roundtables that you've been listening to? I think for me, one of the most important things that I see here is that of partnerships. You know, I mean, everybody realizes, I mean, I think the minister from Rwanda and the president here, I mean, President Paul Kagame said, no one can do this alone, right? No one, none of us, public sector cannot do it alone, private sector cannot do it alone. We all have to work together to address this gap that we have of bringing 2.9 billion people into the digital ecosystem. And the majority of those people are here in this continent. And well, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.